Hey there. I was uh, working on the Gruyere uh, assignment and I've already posted one vulnerability. And so I didn't want to post another one so other people have a chance. But I started out with the first one I found, which was the ability to change the account status to an admin. And then also I figured out that you don't even have to know the old password to be able to change an existing user's password. So then I moved on to um, uh, XSS type vulnerabilities. And it took me a little while uh, to figure out because they're blocking certain commands and they're also um, uh, escaping certain things. And so what I came up with is this script right here. I ended up having to replace the question mark uh, with the URL encoding and switch around to use single quotes instead of doubles here and doubles instead of singles here. And anyway, it just took a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of iterations to figure out what would actually post. So what I've done is this, uh, as you can tell, redirects to my local IP address. And so I have a uh, little virtual box guy running right here. And, uh, and it is, uh, so you see here, I have this XSS exploit directory. And then I have, uh, I've been using this particular vulnerability on a couple of other things. And so I've modified it. And there's this uh, file called log, log.txt. And so anything that gets captured um, will be placed into that log file. Okay, so I've logged in right now as this user blah. And you can see I've created this guy as an admin now and all these things. But anyway, I'm going to create a new snippet. And we're just going to uh, take this and copy that in here. And then, boom, we'll place, paste that in here. And so you can see what that looks like. And like I said, it's going to my local IP address. And um, I'm pulling in the cookies from that uh, that are stored within this user during that. So anyway, now we have this funny cat video, you know, everybody's going to click on it. So if you go to the home screen and I'm logged in, because of the way the site works, the very top one of my snippets is the one that everybody sees. So the first first thing we want to do is we'll click on it and then it redirects me here and it goes, oh, goodness, your session has ended. So I've pulled down the code from their website onto my server and have just edited the text here. And so I pull in the user ID and here and here from the cookies. And then we'll just, because we can, we'll go over here and look. And you can see I've already captured that data. So I get a couple things. I get their, um, the 72350067996 is the Greer instance that is running. I can see there that it is an admin author account and that their username is blah, right? But that's, that's not gonna help me. So then I thought, well, okay, so we can click we can click log in. Nothing happens because the password is blank, and so you just come back and say, "Hey, that that didn't work, right?" So we'll we'll go in here and um, hopefully they're going to top in their normal password, right? I'm, I'm hoping they do. So his normal user password is blah. Uh, well, just so it shows up different, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, as his password. So we'll log in, and it takes them to what they were hoping to find, which was this awesome cat video, right? And so they get to see this cat video. And so let's let's go see what we got. Now, we look here, now we, we got an update and we got, and it was an action update. And okay, so we had the action before, right? But there was no password there. So now we have the action update. User ID is blah and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got that. So that's not very helpful because uh, of course, I am blah, so that's not going to help me. So let's let's sign out. Whoops, that's not going to work, right? So let's sign out of uh, this application, and we'll sign back in. And I've already changed Bree's um, password through that other vulnerability I found. So now we're logged in as Bree, and so hopefully this is, you know, him. I've not actually changed the password. They're logging in as herself, and they see this funny cat video. I'm like, oh, I want that. And uh, oops. I've been signed out, and so we're going to do 098765. We'll say that's his password, and we'll log in, and he gets the cat video he was hoping for here, and we can put on our server. Maybe they don't know. So we now have 
Bree's password, right? So it says user ID is Bree, and we have their password is 098765. Anyway, um, that's just another vulnerability that's on the site and a way to do an XSS exploit. Thanks.